This is Robert Plank and we're going to create a video with just a JPEG image and an audio file using a free website, a free tool called mp3to.net. Now what we're going to need before doing anything is we need a picture of ourselves and it needs to be a JPEG.GPG format. And then we need an audio file to use as the sound for the video we're about to create. And that needs to be a .mp3 file. So we can right click on the image we have and go to properties. And as long as it's a JPG file, we're good on the image. And we can right click the audio here. And as long as it's a MPEG layer 3 and MP3, then we're good in that area. Now we're going to use this tool called mp3to.net. I'll go there with you, mp3to.net. So number three, number two, lowercase u, mp3to.net. It has a lot of ads and things around here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to this I agree to mp3.u.net terms, and then all right, let's begin. Okay, so uh, like I said, no other image other than a JPEG will work, must be a JPG image up to eight megabytes, and then only an MP3 audio will work. No WAV files up to 40 megabytes. Make sure that your files uh, fit in those sizes. So what's gonna happen after we click on, I agree to terms of use, and let's begin, it's first going to tell me that I need a JPEG image, okay? So we're gonna click select image and then browse for this .jpg. So left click on it once, then open, and it has uploaded this image for us. So this will be playing in the video nonstop. The, the image on the video won't change, and then it will play my audio and the video will last as long as the audio in there. So that was step one, add the JPEG background image. And then step two, choose the audio. And we're going to browse, and the only MP3 file we happen to have on our desktop is right there. So we'll open that, give it a second to upload. And now we have step one background image. We have step two, a 30 seconds MP3 file. And then click on go create. So give that, uh, shouldn't take too long, should only take a few seconds. Okay, so that took about four or five seconds, click continue, and we can play the video right here. What we want to do is uh, right click on this and save link as, so we can save the, and whoops, I guess we have to left click on it. So we left click on it, it looks like they've added this little advertisement here. So click on I'm not a robot, and now we'll move along to the video file. Our link is ready in three seconds zero seconds and so I believe okay so the place to then download it is this red get link button so we click on that what the heck happened there and there we go it just it just took a couple tries and so I think that if we right click and save as no all right so we have to left click on it so it might be popping up an ad. There we go. So just, and so in this case, it opened up the video right here in the browser and we want to save it. So I should be able to right click this video that opened up here and say save video as, and then I'll be able to save it to my desktop. So it looked like the only difficulty was it tried to pop up an ad on top of my video. So I just had to click out of that pop-up and now I'm able to get to the video right click and save video as so just to recap mp3 to you.net uh, there was a, a button to say let's start step one upload image step two upload audio step three create video then I had to click on I had to left click on this and click through their ad in order to download the mp4 file and now what I have after all oh, the ads popped up on there now I have this video here we can see here that it's .mp4, which means it's a video, 29 seconds in length, 3 megabytes in size, and I can double click on it, and now it is playing this video. See, so now it uses the image as a still image in the background, and it plays just long enough to speak out what is in the 
audio file there. So there you have it. That is mp3to.net where you upload a JPEG image, upload an audio mp3, and it creates an mp4 video file for you. Lots of little acronyms to know, but it saves you the hassle of trying to figure out software. Just use the website to do it. So JPEG, mp3, and mp3to.net. I'm Robert Plank. Hope that helps. Thanks and bye now.